My name is Rick Sankovitz. I'm a circuit judge in Milwaukee, and I'm an ad hoc member of the Evidence and Procedure Subcommittee of the Wisconsin Judicial Council, which is a government think tank, more or less, that works on improving procedures and rules in our courts. So I'm here at Chula Vista today with the Board of Governors, and we were considering a proposal that's been made to the Supreme Court to improve the civil procedure rules regarding evidence uh, regarding electronic discovery that were approved in 2010. And so you say, more rules? We were just there in 2010. Well, the rules that were proposed in 2010 had two unfinished parts, parts that needed some more study, parts that were awaiting developments in the federal courts before we decided whether rules like those should be adopted in Wisconsin. The two parts that were unfinished were these. One is a rule which allows parties to claw back documents which were inadvertently produced. And the other is a rule, like Federal Rule of Evidence 502, which tells a court how to decide when a document has been inadvertently uh, divulged, whether it can come back to its owner without any legal effect, or whether the secret is now out and everybody can use it against the client or for whatever other purpose they see fit. Today the board heard a summary of what the 2010 amendments do. They heard how these new proposals fit into the 2010 amendments. They heard an interesting discussion of unfinished works of art and a lame comparison between what we're doing and those unfinished works of art. And after hearing that and after understanding that we're trying to make the rules more efficient and more predictable for practitioners and for parties as well, the board gave its approval to the petition. The uh, petition has been filed with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court gave us an early indication that it intends to hold a hearing on the petition in September. We haven't heard a date yet, but I expect we will go before the court with the board's approval. And with the board's approval, I hope it will be a fairly uncontroversial matter. And perhaps as early as January of 2013, the clawback and inadvertent disclosure rules will be in place and uh, apply to cases that are already pending as of that date.